Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this lesson. This lesson is on literary analysis and the essential question is what techniques does an author use to engage the reader? The objectives for this lesson are to understand suspense and foreshadowing and cite examples of suspense and foreshadowing from text. And this deals with your standard 13910F to analyze how words and phrases shape meaning and create mood. Suspense is a feeling of tension that keeps readers wondering what will happen next. Perhaps you've seen the movie The Hunger Games is a very good trilogy where at the end of each chapter there's an element of suspense where she wants you to keep reading and it's a page turning type of novel. A lot of movies you'll watch will leave you hanging and the edge of your seat to watch more. That is suspense. It's the actual feeling of tension that you're experiencing as a reader or viewer. Suspense is created, however, through foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is the use of clues to hint at events that will happen later in the story. This creates suspense. When reading a text or watching a film, are there phrases or words about the future that give you hints? Is there a change happening in the weather, the setting, or the mood? Are there objects or scenic elements that suggest something happy, sad, dangerous, exciting? Do the characters or the narrator observe something in the background that might hint about something to come later? Here are some examples of foreshadowing. We are in the cockpit of an airplane. The plane hits turbulence and the captain struggles to regain control. It doesn't last long and everything is soon seemingly fine again. Because the author used the word seemingly, we know that there's more to come. It really isn't fine. So think about the words that an author uses that would create examples of foreshadowing. We are in a Wild West saloon. The hero walks in and orders a drink. Over in the corner, the baddie watches him drink. As the hero leaves, the baddie spits on the floor and follows him out of the saloon. You know something's up. <laughs> Midnight has come and gone and the mother is standing at the window. She hears the back door and runs to meet her daughter. But it is a masked intruder carrying a knife. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> As a man gets ready for work, we see that he is tense and sweating. His wife kisses him goodbye and wishes him good luck. The man throws her an uneasy look and picks up his briefcase. In that sentence alone, we have the words tense, sweating, uneasy. Um, some of the words that an author chooses, again, are very indicative of what is going on in the story. Some more examples. An old man is sitting at his desk looking at a stamp collection. That's seemingly harmless, right? When he opens the drawer for his magnifying glass, his fingers brush against a revolver. He finds the magnifying glass and closes the drawer. And finally, when the leading woman reads her horoscope, it promises a troubled week ahead. All those examples of foreshadowing in text allow you to create scenes for the reader to engage them and then eventually lead to s scenes of suspense where you're actually going to have your readers continue reading on. Those are some examples of foreshadowing in suspense. And I want you to apply these to the current story that you're reading. Where do you see examples of suspense and foreshadowing within the story that make you want to keep reading? <laughs> 